Please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to my channel, Port Grimmel Designs. My name is Leela. I'm from Northwest Florida. If you've been here before, welcome back. So this journal, the cover completely fell apart and I had to put it back together again by taping it. I taped it with masking tape and then I went over it with washi tape. Then I had to find the holes and poke Repoke the holes and rethread everything. I decoupaged it so it would keep everything together, but I had to put all the pages back in after I had taken it <laughs> completely apart. And when I put the pages back in, I started at the very end where this was at the beginning. So I put them in backwards. So this is the way my book looks today. And I've never really used the gesso thing. I saw it on another lady's um, channel. She um, was Polish, living in Ireland. She did mixed media. And I watched her a lot whenever I had um, COVID the first time. Um, I just kept watching her. Um, I guess, I don't know, her accent and everything just kind of soothed me and listening and watching her do her art I was inspirational and it helped get me through because I was out of it for a while but I stayed home got through with it and I actually had COVID twice the second time wasn't as bad but um anyways uh she was using a lot of this and I was just playing with it so as you can see I have no idea what I'm doing I need to go back and uh, watch her videos again but I know, I think it's something small art, I believe is the name of her channel. Um, this looks like it. But anyways, um, it's not really ready for a flip. But this is where I've left it. Um, I made a little pocket on one of these and I went and, um, added a butterfly. Um, this is something I guess you could put in floral design, but I put a little thing where you can uh, write little poems or memos or dreams or what have you on the other side of the butterfly. And then this is old page. I kind of cut out this and put in old, I made this it's not old, it's kind of new. It's from a file folder. I'll just kind of put this in here. I'll have to find more embellishments to put in here. And then, ah, white page. Got to do something with that. And then, another thing here. So, in here, you can see this was at the beginning. This is the very first page. There we go and other pages and then I've added these things this was from some doily that I decorate with napkins and I love gold and then another place you can write on I guess I need to Roughen it up on the edges. This is part 10. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> Usually I don't have a problem folding this back. This origami. Somehow 
how I got mixed up there. Don't know how. <laughs> uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. Just kind of follow the lines. It's usually, that's not quite right. That shouldn't be showing like that, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> And then this is something I used well, that I made with the stamp. I bought a bunch of stamps from my little sister and then she gave me the rest of them. I guess it was from Stamping Up. We do market together, so she, she brought it to the market and she thought she'd sell it there. I'm like, hold up, let me see what you got there. Then I just kind of decoupage with some scraps here and then I added all these and did a little stamping there. But that's about as far as I got. Then a cute little stamp for my, well these are stickers. Then I found this little thing I guess in my desk for files so I just kind of added that. To it and the edging I just used a marker one of these little markers is double ended I didn't have the color I wanted black so I just used that but that's as far as I've gotten so far and uh, I need to Get some more inspiration on what to do with these other pages so you guys leave me comments below um, over here I've kind of went through some things and found other little things this jar charm was in my jewelry box I, I bought two gave one to one granddaughter the other, I didn't know if it was appropriate, but it's a little fairy. And then, on this cute little dragonfly, thought I'd add it. And I found this. I had forgotten that I had ordered these little fairies, but it's from Creative Embellishments on Etsy. That's the shop that I found it at. I didn't make these. But, um, I do say but um a lot. I'm trying not to say so, but um, but um, as much as I do. I try to cut them out of the video. But here's some little fairies. But they're beautiful. But I thought I'd incorporate those, but our oven is now working. It had not worked in a while. I was making meals um, out of cast iron skillets and and um, slow cookers and, you know, we have microwave and an air fryer, stuff like that. But, um, but, um, there I go again. <laughs> I, um. We'll be making more coffee dyed or coffee stained papers. And I think I'll put these in with it to make my papers before I add it to this book. I might add one or two. I don't want to do all of them. If I had duplicates, I don't know. What do you think? Anyways, I think I'm going to make that. I'm going to work on that right now. But, um, but, um, did it again. I will see you guys later. This is probably part 10. I'll be back in. I can't, I don't know that I can add the paper to this, but I'll add it somewhere. 
your suggestions, please. Most appreciative. Thank you, and you have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. 